Big shout out to EA and the EA Game Changers program for sponsoring this video and allowing us to capture this early content. So without them, this video would not be possible. So thank you to them. Now you see the hat and you see the whistle. You know what that means? It's a chaos coaching day. What's good, everybody? Welcome to a Chaos Coach video. Now, today's video is actually gonna be in two parts. The first part is gonna be an offensive tip that I think might help you with passing the ball. And the second part is going to be a gameplay against a fellow YouTuber, Eric Wayweather. And if you haven't heard of him, his stuff's gonna be in the description and the top comments. So make sure you check him out if you haven't heard of him. Great YouTuber. Now, the second part of this video is actually gonna be like a normal Chaos Coaching video. I'm gonna be breaking down what I'm trying to do on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball, just trying to help you all get better. And honestly, trying to learn myself because I learn throughout these all the time. I make mistakes. And honestly, that's how you learn, right? So we're going to do our best. Let's just get over to practice mode and go over this offensive tip. So today's passing concepts going to involve a slant and a flat round. Now, initially, it does not sound that special or exciting, but I'll be breaking down in this video how it can be very effective for you. It's something I use a lot. It's similar to something I use a lot in Man 20. I plan to use it a lot in Man 21. So I'm using the 49ers today. But honestly, the, probably the best team for the way I play in my scheme would probably be the Chiefs. But I have a different video plan for the Chiefs, so we're going to be using the 49ers today. But you can use this with any team, any scheme. It's going to work for any scheme. You're going to see me do it a lot in the gameplay from trips tight end. But I'll be doing that a bunch tight end just to show you another form, show you that it's not exclusive to one formation. So starting off with the slant here, the slant's going to be really effective. It's going to be really tough to guard. Usually it's going to take a user to take away. There's a couple zones, a bluff blitz, a three wreck can sometimes do a good job against it. But for the most part, that slant's going to be there for you. So the defense is in the cover two. We'll just start with no hot route, I mean, excuse me, no adjustments on the defense. I'm just going to show you this slant. And we'll break down soon why the flat's going to be so effective for you. Initially, it just acts as a clear out. So let's go into the replay here. Initially in the replay, you're going to see the swing route is going to just push this cloud flat out to the outside. It's not 100% necessary, but it helps open that window because the flat route has to be, you see how it has to move, he has to move outside here. That's occupied by the swing route. That Those couple steps right there, that's to make sure that this swing route doesn't get outside. And that gives you a little bit more of a window right here for this slant. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be there. You can usually fit that pass in without the flat route. The flat route is going to have another concept for it or another use for it that I'll break down later on in this video. So I'll just throw this slant again now. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to shade down on the defense. So that was without any shading. So they were dropping back. Now they're going to stay a little bit more shallow. But again, you're still going to be able to fit this slant in. So I'm just going to lowball it here. And you're going to be able to cut that pass off before the defender can really react to it. So that's both going to the right side. Now I'll show you that it can go to the left. And then for the flat routes, we're going to be breaking them down. But it can be a swing route. It can be a table route from the running back. It can be a smoke screen. Any of those flat routes, it's going to be really effective for you. Now we're going to be breaking it down the other way moving this slant over we have a flat going to the outside just put a streak here the, the rest of the route combos don't really matter we're just breaking down the the swing routes or the flat routes with the slant now this is no shading again you have a nice little window going from that that wide of a defense this is going from the wide side of the short side now with the with the slant you really don't again you don't need the flat there so if you don't want to put it there you want to block you can now i'll show you the slant going from right to left against the shaded down cover two so we already showed regular cover two now it's going to be shaded down and this is one of the few ways where you actually can play it if thrown with the wrong timing so i'll show you the correct timing first and then i'll show you where it can be a little bit close again the route combo doesn't really matter we're just showing the slants in the flats here you can really do a lot of different things with it but here you go this is going to be the correct timing you want to lowball about right there and that's pretty that's pretty safe that's pretty safe they're probably never going to play that now i'll show you where it can get a little bit close back up here and make sure we shade down so right here i'm gonna throw it a little bit later than that and it's gonna be a little bit close now they might not pick it they might not even make it an incompletion but that's where it can get a little bit tight and we're able to cut it off there and that's that's exactly what you want you want to be able to cut it off but that was where they actually can play and i'll try it one more time to try to show you all that it can be played i've thrown a couple picks on it in practice mode, not often throwing a couple incompletions but for the most part um you just don't want to be throwing it that late you want to throw it like maybe a second earlier like right here so that he's catching it on the hash mark instead of catching it past the hash mark and you see the the cornerback or uh, yeah it's a slot corner it's an animation on it and you don't want that you don't want them to get an animation on you want to be cutting off that pass with no one else getting an animation so let's try to throw it one more time here i would like I would like them to pick it off or at least force an incompletion just so you all can see it. But if I don't get it right here, just trust me, this is where you not, don't want to be throwing it against the shaded down bird hook late. Throw it late here and right there. That's it. So that's where you don't want to be throwing it. So as long as you can make the read early, uh, you can throw it fine. Perfect window. But if it's late, you might not want to force it against a shaded down vert hook. Now I'll quickly show this slant against cover three. I already showed it against cover two and I'm not going to continue to throw it over and over just because I believe you all already understand. So this is cover three without any shading. You see that pocket's wide open. It's an even bigger pocket than cover two. And then I'll show you with the shaded down. 
that was regular now shaded down with hard flats that means the hook curls are shaded down as well we set this back up and again it's going to be wide open cover two cover three you can undercut that pass pretty much every single time now i'll just show it from right to left quickly one more time with shaded down because you already you already know that it, with shaded up or sh no shading at all it's going to be open and that's not going to change when you flip the flip where the route's going to so we're shaded down with a hook curl on a hard flat it's still going to be open here you can pretty much throw it with any window you don't have to worry about it like cover two you see it over the middle of the field now i'll wait on it and i'll throw it a little bit late and then that'll be it for the slant you all understand the slant and i'll start going over the concept of why the flat's so effective and why you kind of want it out there again you don't need it out there to push the flat it just opens up the window and you can do some stuff with it so i'm gonna double team chandler jones here and this is going against cover three with hard flats and you see able to undercut it no not even getting an animation on the linebacker there so that's all it is from the slant cover two cover three is going to get open now we'll go over the flat here and why you kind of need it. and again it can be any flat table routes swing routes smoke screens we'll go over we'll go over the flat route concept in general but it, just remember it can be any type of flat now the main reason i included this flat here which is not something i did a ton of last year is simply because of how effective they are in madden 21 so i'm just going to show you here quickly a table route and a swing route this isn't the concept i just want to show you how good of a rack and how effective they can be that's a table route you're getting like 10 12 yards now i'll show you the swing now if they baseline press this cover two it'll do a little bit better job at stopping them but either way you have space you're almost one-on-one -on -one out there and you're gaining six to seven to ten to twelve yards with a chance to make someone miss now here's the concept and how it works around the slant it's gonna be two full number one it allows you to build a scheme around that and i'll go over that in a second the second part is it keeps your opponent from over adjusting so for example last year you could probably play defense like this baseline press deep third and get rid of this purple this flat and you would do a good enough job of stopping flats and table routes for only like a couple yard gain so unless you needed that one or two yards it wasn't a big deal if you threw that so now this year it's not going to be the case let's just set up this play here and i'll show you the table route first and then i'll show you the swing and this is baseline press so it's going to do the best job you can at it but even there even then you see there's no flat out there you have space now i'll show you without the without the press how much more space you have and you're one-on-one -on -one out there if you make one person miss you're probably going to go for a touchdown I'll quickly cross man this player here again to the slant and you throw this table out against non-press and look at that this one-on-one -on -one, if you make one juke you make one person miss and you're gone now i'll just show you the swing i don't want to continue to throw the same thing over and over for you guys you guys get it and i'll go over the scheme here or how you can turn it into a scheme that is in a second one last cross man again there's no flat out there we set the play back up and as soon as you see there's no flat you throw this swing or this table out and you go get out in space and try to pick up as many yards as you can and now I'll go over, it doesn't have to be a swinger. It doesn't have to be from the running back. It can be a flat on the receivers. It can be anything like that. Now, let me show you how you can create a scheme out of this. So maybe you have a, a post coming from Kittle on the backside. So it looks like this. You have a post and a slant going two crosses across the middle of the field. The slant, you can basically throw at any point unless it's cross manned or usered from the right direction. Maybe a bluff blitz, three reg, maybe a shaded down vert hook. But for the most part, that slant is going to be there for you. If they take away the flats, you have flats on both sides and then you have a post. This is just one example of what you can do with it. You can do crossers. You can do corner routes. A lot of things you can do. Now, somebody might do this out of cover three. This is the last thing I'll show. They probably will blitz their, their corner uh, that's in a flat there, and they'll do this. That's something they did a ton last year. And you can and you can just throw that flat on the outside. Again, it doesn't have to be from a running back. As soon as you see there's no flat out there, you catch your receiver, you go get rack it up, get 10, 12, 15 yards. That's why the flat and slant is so, so important, and you can build around that. It can really turn into a scheme that prevents your opponent from being able to over adjust. Putting a post on the backside with it. Crossers, corner routes, it can be really effective. You're going to see me doing it in this game, so enough of the tip. I don't want to continue to show the same thing over and over again. Let's get into the game. All right, we're going to be taking on Eric Rayweather today. He's using the Cardinals, and it should be a good one. We're going to be starting this one on defense here. We're just going to try to contain early, see what, see what Eric likes to do. Ooh, the, Eric had the crosser. I thought he was throwing the crosser. Good read. Again, though, early on in this game, you just want to try to feel out what your opponent likes to do. See if they want to run the ball. See if they want to throw the ball short, throw the ball deep. Whatever they like to do, you're trying to pick up on it early. That way, later on in the game, you can, you can kind of figure out what they're going to want to do. Okay, well, they like this play on third and six early on in the game, right? So you're just trying to pick up what they like to do. And then once you kind of had figured it out, then you can try to adjust. Got to watch the jet sweep. Got to watch the jet sweep. You definitely want to try not to give up any big plays early on in the game. Just try to keep your opponent in front. And try to send a little bit of pressure right here. Ooh, we, we had a guy coming in. All right, big third down right here. Oops. Just kidding. It's first and 10. I forgot. The ball reach out thing is really cool. I love that addition to the game. It's actually first down. Eric's putting together a good drive here. We got to try to figure it out here. Ooh, let's go, Bosa. Oops. 
Oh, that was Armstead. I'm, I'm messing everything up right now. We're just trying to get our rhythm right here. We're just trying to get a little bit of our rhythm. We'll figure it out. We'll we'll start saying everybody's right names. We'll start guessing if it's first down or a third down. We'll figure it out here. We have two purples out there. That's to prevent anything from getting over top of our zones. They're set to 20, so we can't... Yeah, just keep everything in front. Just keep everything in front. We'll take it. Eric must have lagged on that kick, but that's okay. We'll take it. We're going to start this game off with the exact tip that we already started this video with. And there it is. There's the low ball slant. Setting up the slant again with a smoke screen on the outside. Grab the crosser, grab the crosser. Let's go, Jimmy G. Great pass, baby. I'm hoping this is cover two right here. It's not. Just take the smoke screen. Just take the smoke screen. Get the field. I love it. I love it. Oh, we got the seam. We have the seam. Let's go. Come on. Ah, I got stuck a little bit. I got stuck a little bit. This is going to be another field out drive again. Just trying to understand what Eric wants to do, where he wants to attack, and then try to adjust from there. I know I already talked a little bit about the zone drop adjustments that they made this year, but I actually love that change. Oh, there's going to be a laser. Ah, oh, that's a laser. Oh, a nice rack to make a tackle. Ah, uh, great dot. But I just want to speak more on the zone drops. I feel like the zone drops are so effective. It's going to help stop crossing routes, pose, stuff like that. Obviously, I need to move back a little bit deeper, though. Eric actually missed the extra point. We'll definitely take it. He should be winning the game right now with that field goal and the extra point. We'll definitely take a lead. We're going to run inside zone right here. That's okay. Looking to see if we can space out the field a little bit with a crosser. Oh, we got the hitch. Let's go, baby. Again, we're just trying to space out the field as much as we can here. We have wheels. We have hitches. We have a crosser. Oh, good defense. Good defense. Big third down right here. I just want to try to get half this back. The slant's there. The slant's there. That's fine. I just want to get half back and make this manageable. We're going to do the same thing here. That's my favorite concept. We'll see whichever one he lurks. He stayed on the slant. That's where you take the post. Let's go. Going back to the slant post smoke screen concept here. It's worked well for me so far. Just take the smoke screen. Just take the smoke screen. I got to make that route a little bit sooner. But I'll take the first down. Ideally here, we end this drive with a touchdown and without giving up any time to Eric. Ah, just throw the ball away. We got to... We got to try to not leave him any time when we want to get seven. We're looking for this wheel on the outside here. It might be there. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. That's fine. We'll take our three. Well, definitely not a bad end of the half. We're up 10-6. It probably should be 10-10, but I'll definitely take 10-6. I mean, we have ball at halftime. If we don't get seven right here, we're up two possessions. Looking to see if we can get this post across the middle right here. Just take our out route. Just take our out route. Checking down this year is going to be really effective. You have to take your flats, your out routes, your smoke streams. They're going to be able to get you a lot of rack. I keep trying to do our best here to move the ball steadily down the field. Ooh, I thought we had some space. I thought we had some space. I actually probably should be using Mostert a little bit more than I have been simply because he's actually the fastest running back in the game. He's tied with Matt Breida. I should be using him a lot more the passing game and the running game. Jimmy G is really playing well for us here. I'm loving everything that I'm seeing from him. Throw the ball away. Throw the ball away. See, getting the ball. I'm loving Jimmy G. I love the way he's playing right now. I feel like he's making all the throws that we need. I think we have this post. There it is, Jimmy G again. Great pass. The red zone's where it gets a little bit tough, though. We already stalled down here once. We have some space. We have some space. We'll take it. Unless I lose some yards here, this is going to be four down territory for us. There we go. We move the chains. This is going to be four down territory for us, considering I feel like if we get seven, we're going to be in a great spot going up two possessions here. I just want to try to get back on the ball here, run the ball, see if we can get in. Oh, we're getting some. It's going to be four down territory. I do not want to take three right here. Unless I lose yards, of course. If I lose a few yards here, no, we'll take it. All right, let's go. One more stop. We need one more stop and we'll be in commanding position. As we start the fourth here, we just want to keep everything in front. Don't give up any big plays. Don't give up any big plays. If we keep everything in front of us, make Eric work here. We'll be in a good spot. Watch anything on the backside middle. Oh, nice dot. Nice dot. I'm pretty sure I said watching the backside middle. I don't know how you can be watching the middle of the formation and watching the backside of the formation. I'm not making any sense. That's okay. We have to get one more stop. You'll learn very quickly if you're new to the channel that I don't make sense probably 50% of the time. But we'll, we'll take a sack there. But about 50% of the time, I probably just I just start rambling. And I don't even really know what I'm talking about. But that's part of the fun of it, right? I mean, you can play the game. Let's figure out what Chaos is talking about today. Oh, oh, Sherman. Great play from Sherman. Great play from Sherman. One more first down should win this here. I don't want to make any mistakes. We have our post. We have our post. Oh, we dropped it. Oh, do we punt here? It's a chaos coaching video. The right play is to punt the ball away here. Just punt this ball out of bounds. We got to try to hold our lead to the end of this game. Contain here. Just got to contain. Oh, can we get there? Oh, good dot. Good dot. We couldn't get there. Watching the run here. We don't give anything up. Ah, good. Good play. Also, we could be inside zone here. Oh, reverse, reverse. All right, good tackle. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. The game comes down to this. An onside kick. Can we recover it? Yes, all right, let's go, baby. GG's to Eric. And that's going to do it. GG's to Eric. A ton of fun. That was a great, exciting game. We're actually going to be playing a second game over on Eric's channel. His channel will be in the description below. His video will be in the top pinned comment. I hope you all enjoyed this one. I hope you all learned something. I hope I wasn't rambling too much. But if you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace. That.
was a ton of fun. <laughs>